In the following tutorial we are going to cover world scale and dimension. Building new environment to scale is a very important part of the process if you want to create a believable world. So you must know what the player dimensions have to be within that world in order for your world to look believable. This includes uh, knowing the door height, uh, the wall heights, um, how big and how high the steps have to be, and uh, knowing all these dimensions will help you to create a more believable world. Nothing ruins the illusion of your environment uh, than having uh, so, some elements within your environment that are too big or too small. So there are a few key principles that you want to keep in mind when you're creating worlds inside Source uh, using any of the Valve engine based games. All these dimensions are the same across all games so if you are creating a map for Left 4 Dead 1 or 2, uh, the same scale applies to Counter-Strike, Half-Life, uh, both of the episodes of Half-Life, and Team Fortress. So this tutorial is universal for across all Valve engine based games. Here you see I have a very basic simple world created with proper height for walls. I have a doorway and I have two stories here for these two walls with proper dimension and scale set to them. These steps have dimensions set to them that look believable inside Hammer Source. So what are these dimensions and how can you begin creating your world that's uh, set to proper scale? First we need to cover the player height, the wall height and all the dimensions within Source Editor that you need to know. player scale and architecture scale for source engine is you have your height of your character is set at 72. So here we have the height of the character and this is again this is the same across all games so if you take Half-Life 2 or Team Fortress for example the height of the character is going to be the same. Then you have height of crouching character is set at 36 units so you have 72 for the height of the character and 36 at crouching character and you have width of the character at 32. So what do these values mean exactly? So let's jump back inside the editor and here on the bottom right hand side you have snap on grid set to 16. So right now if we navigate to one of the orthographic viewports if we count this one individual square this is 16 units. So let me select this wall and here we have dimensions of this specific geometry piece. Right now it's 16 in depth and 32 in width. And If we go into our side view we have our wall set at 128. That means that character height is going to come up to roughly about here. So we still don't have a point of reference of the character. So the first thing you want to do is when you create your environment you want to insert a player model inside your environment. So let's do that now. I have Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools editor open. You want to navigate to entity tool and here I have objects in for survivor position. This could be player start uh, so depending on the type of game that you are creating this in uh, the object entity may differ in naming but uh, all, all the games have a, a player start and you can simply insert Gordon Freeman right in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is since I'm inside Left 4 Dead uh, I'm going to also insert info survivor position and this gives me the character inside Left 4 Dead 2. And you can see that both of these are pretty much the same height maybe the Left 4 Dead character is slightly higher but uh, 72 is what you're aiming at. So here we have if we take a look at the side view we have our character right here and then we have our info pl player position and they're very similar as you can see. So as before you create anything within your environment you want to place reference scale inside your map so you have a reference to how high everything has to be within your environment. So now that we have our reference placed let's take a look at the height of the wall. So here we have 128 units is the height of the regular wall. 
So if we go into our orthographic viewport, 128 is the average height of the wall architecture inside Hammer Source. Another important dimension and scale that we need to cover is the door frame. Here I have average door frame set at 48 in width and height is 108. Now note that this is the average door dimension. This will change often based on the type of prop that you place. Sometimes the prop that you place for the door is a little bit bigger than the opening so you, you would have to reposition the brushes to fit that door. For stairs, stairs have to be 8 in height and 16 in width. This produces the average stairs that look believable inside the editor. So here I have stairs that are going up to 128. So basically these stairs would be going up to the second floor. So if we go into our side view, we have 8 in height and 16 in width. This is the average height of the stairs. Now depending on what type of environment you are creating, sometimes you'll modify these values, but known average dimension of the stairs, of the wall, and of the door frame will keep you from having any issues in scale and dimension. Now a few other important dimensions for architecture that you should know is that one foot is 16 units inside Hammer Source. So if we go in and we can see here that our snap to grid is 8 meaning that again this one square is 8 units. If I use the bracket keys and we go up to 16 you can see that the grid changes now single grid unit is set to 16. We covered the door width, we have the door height, hallway height, this is the average wall height, hallway width is set to 64 and here we have our stairs height and depth 8 and 16. You will also notice that I have developer textures applied to the walls which they help to reference how high these walls are with these textures referencing the height of the wall as well as uh, another developer texture that has a character player height drawn right on here. In order for you to get the developer textures just go to face edit sheet click on browse and here under filter you can type in dev and you'll be able to find all the developer textures right in here that you need to use. So as you create a new environment after you placed a reference scale you want to begin to create your geometry with a developer texture applied on it. Now if you need more accurate and more detailed dimensions in Hammer Source you can simply go to developer.valvesoftware.com slash wiki slash dimensions. This gives you all the dimensions that are available in Hammer Source. It goes into very specific detail. This is a very important page that you should reference back uh, for more uh, detailed dimensions and scale inside Hammer Source.